placed a trust on the Lord. He has placed a trust on the Lord, and the Lord will not disappoint him. The Lord Amen. will not disappoint him. Let's read Psalm 125 first. They that trust in the Lord shall be as man Zion, which cannot be removed, but abide <laughs> about the, so the Lord and about his people from henceforth and forevermore. So the Lord, he has placed his trust in the Lord. And what, this is the, the thing that comes to people who put that trust in Isaiah 26, verse 3. Isaiah 26, verse 3. That we keep in a perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on thee, because he trusted in thee. That we keep in a perfect peace. The brother needs peace. And um, there can be perfect peace if there are no children in the family. And want to pray and tell the Lord and say, Oh God, this is your servant, your son, who has placed his trust in you. Settle him now. Take away this reproach in the name of Jesus Christ. Your word says that those who put their trust in you, they will not be disappointed. Let the Lord settle in. Whatever is the problem, the potency, whatever is the problem, fallopian tool, whatever is the problem, reproductive system, anything that is the issue, let the Lord clear it off now. In the name of Jesus Christ, shall we pray? Father and everyone lift up. Ragmenga Johnson, Lord, into your hand. We pray whatsoever the challenge may be in his body, in the wife of his body. We pray because he has put his trust solely on you. Father, we pray that you will correct the path and give them and give them in the name of Jesus. We pray that you will pray that you will take children and have children their own, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Please, somebody else, anyone? Can you people hear me? If there's yes, no one, yes. let's continue since there's nobody again. I want to pray this very morning and ask the Lord that in this new year, whatever issue of sin will not come into our home. Sometimes what brings problem to the family, like the mother of we prayed about, sin can open doors to attack of the devil and other things. I want to pray, sin will not come into our family. Yes, Amen. it's one of the that I pray this morning with my wife. I'm telling you something, sin will not come in. That there will be nothing like, oh, you have committed sin, and then as a result of that, we are suffering. God forbid, sin will not come to our tabernacle. Sin will be far away from us. Sin of any kind, sin of any sizes, sin of any shape. It will not come into your wife. It will not come into your husband. It will not come into your children. There will be no sin. There will be no incapable. The glory is departed in our family. In the name of Jesus Christ, let's pray and ask the Lord. Sin will not come in. You will not, you know, become a compromiser. You will not become an unfaithful husband. You will not become a faithful spouse. Yes, you will commit yourself, my family, to your hand. The great that sin will not come into the midst of all. The great that I do not come into this world. The great that I will not come into this world. The great that I will not come into this world. The great that I will not come into this world. The great that I will not come into this world. The great that I will not come into this world. Oh Lord, in heaven, I pray that you will stretch forth your hand and touch her. Oh Lord, the great that she through her, grant unto her, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, have mercy on your people, Lord. Have mercy. Oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. I want to pray among our pastors. As men who are having silent issues between them and their wives, when I mean silent issues, have you gone to some family and then as you get in there, maybe as a visitor, you see a pretense, pretense, pretense. The man is pretending, the woman is pretending as if all is well, and all is not actually well, though. But they will just pretend everybody will just, because there's visitors around and 
you know, they just want to go here, want to go here, just manipulate people so that they won't say, ah, pastor or leader, ah, what is going on in your family and all of that. They just manipulate the whole thing. And then when the visitor, when they leave and all that, everybody will turn to the normal thing again. They start their fight, they start their argument, they start their whatever quarreling and all that. And then uh, you see the man hitting the bullet and <laughs> Oh God, this one hitting the woman, and this one is, and then you just, yeah, the man will be preaching on the pulpit. the wife does not believe in his ministry, because uh, the wife knows that this man, you have a problem uh, that you have not taken care of. You don't even keep the what you are preaching to others. You are an hypocrite. And then even the woman probably teaching women in the church, and the husband is just raising his nose and saying, you hypocrite. You are not submissive and all, all those kind of things like that. We want to pray right now. Are there people among us on the platform having such hope where there are no transparency? Real Christian life being lived. Want to pray that God will resolve the issue. The God of heaven will show mercy and have mercy. This is a new year. Things will change. This is a new year. Things will turn around. This is a new year. There will be transformation. Every home will enjoy marriage. Oh, marriage is sweet. Every home will enjoy marriage. Every home will enjoy marriage. Every home will enjoy their union. Every home will enjoy their union. In Matthew chapter 13, in verse 24, the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man who is so good seed in his field. As a pastor, as a husband, as leader, you are sowing good seed in your children, in your wife, in terms of morning devotion, in terms of teaching in the church. But unfortunately, maybe why there is a spiritual slumberness, the enemy came, verse 25, and so tell, tears among the weeds. And then the enemy went his way. And eventually you begin to see the attitude that look like tears among the children in your wife and all that. And you are wondering, ah, how do ah, you just, how do I tackle this? Look at it, verse 27. So the servant of the householder came and said unto his son, There's not thou so good stay in thy field. On west then are the tears, he said unto them, verse 28, an enemy had done this. Whatever the enemy had done in the previous year in our life, what are we to do to it? Matthew 15, verse 13. Whatever the enemy has sown, we are agreeing together now, verse 13 of Matthew 15. Every plant which my heavenly father had not planted shall be rooted up. There are some problems in the family that are not ordinary. This one, you cannot even blame the man. The man is a Christian. This one, you cannot really blame the woman. She's a Christian. But as you look critically into the family, things are not in order. There, you can tell an enemy has done this. I want to pray. Whatever the enemy has done in any hope before this time, God will undo them. That's number one. Number two, whatever the enemy is planning to do against our hope, our family, this year, anything as they plan it in their coven, they will be destroyed. Fire will appear. As they plan it in their marine kingdom, fire will appear. As they plan it in 
whatever meeting, and they just say, uh, I, I bear you, uh, or more like God forbid, as they mention the name, fire will appear from nowhere, from heaven, in fact, from heaven, and consume it. If they gather for our sake, they will be dealt with mercilessly. We want to pray that every prayer and every trap and every plan and every project of the devil consigning us this year. Oh, God, send me to them to your hand. I pray that everything that the enemy has planted, which is not by you, Father, we pray that you approve them in your Jesus' name. Oh Lord, go now. We pray that you will arise, oh Lord. Father, arise, oh Lord, for our family, because when we have strong institutions, the church will be a strong church. But if the institutions of marriage has problems here and there, instead of coming together to pray, they are coming together to settle problems. Oh Lord, go now that church will be weak. Father, because of your church, oh Lord, have mercy upon us and cause peace to reign in our families, oh Lord, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, I want to sincerely, from my heart of hearts, bless your name and worship you for the way you have led us this morning. Yes, Lord. In fact, our brother is speaking, and uh, these are challenges in the family. These are problems in the family. Father, we look up to you. We put our trust in you. You are all in all. You are the only hope of all our marriages. Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. A lot of things are happening in the family. A lot of battles, a lot of arrows are being shot at the family to scatter the family, to disassociate the family, the Bible says, and that's why I'm standing on, that what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. Oh God, I pray, all our marriages, the one, oh God, Father, you have an aim that you have planted by your own self. Oh Lord, I pray, every war, every fight to scatter the family, to destroy the family, to bring impunity into the family. Oh God, I pray that in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, our families will be united, our families will be stronger, our families, oh God, Father, will be unbreakable in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. The families, oh, the Bible says, what God has joined together, let no man put us under. And so, Lord, there is an opposite to that scripture. Then what God has not joined together, Father, we can put asunder to it. Lord, I yeah. am praying all illicit marriages, all women, like the story our pastor told of that brother who is having illicit affair with other women. Lord, I pray every bondage in his life, every chain, every soul tie. Oh God, I am praying by the power in the name of Jesus. By the power in the blood of Jesus, we mm. separate, oh God, all such illicit affair. We lose that brother, we lose the family, oh God, under this spell, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We are praying and we are asking, oh God, a lot of things, battles happening in the family. Oh God, you know everything. I pray, Lord, for each and every family, you will arise. You will arise on, a, on behalf of our families. You will Amen. fight every battle in our family. And you will give us victory in Jesus' name. Amen. Seen battles, unseen battles in the family. Waging war, ravaging the family. Oh God, I pray. You will arise, oh God. You will fight for our families. Oh Lord, I pray this year. Our families will live in peace and not in pieces. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Father. Cover our families with the blood of Jesus. Thank As we Jesus, continue, Lord. let your presence continue with us. In Amen. Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 We shall continue in that. In that
mood, but the power and the blow of Jesus Christ. And then, I always, I always jealous, jealous uh, uh, Pastor, Pastor your me, and I know I God has a purpose for him to make him a leader of this session. Uh, when he's talking about how they do the uh, morning devotion with uh, our wife. I want to appreciate the wife too for total submission. Uh, I, I, uh, I can see maybe you see the Holy Spirit in the life of our brother, he totally surrender. Uh, or maybe, uh, maybe he, because he's a member of the church, he has, he has been trained in that way. That way. And, then and then he continued the obligation. Uh, when uh, they want to strike, the first, first thing he does is to destroy the altar, the altar in the family. family. Uh, the Bible, the when Bible you see the relationship the between the Abraham, Abraham and God, God, the Bible lets us know that everywhere Abraham is, he built. Uh, 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 so, uh, uh, you expect, you expect a, family a family as a relationship between Abraham, Abraham and then Abraham, Abraham on God, God to the extent that he said, Can I do anything and I from this man? This is a man, the good, they have a very good relationship, close relationship. Then, how can I do this thing without open my eyes to? Abraham. So what? So like what happened? Like immediately, the husband and wife coming. Uh, the, the first love, love maybe one month, one, month, one year, year, possibly, possibly. 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 Then, then uh, you see, you see they don't have the uh, prayer, prayer meeting together, together again, especially in a town like us. Like yeah. yeah. Then the then altar is being destroyed, destroyed little by little. By little. Uh, uh, sometimes, sometimes some husband may be the one that have a strong air. It, it may be wild, wild that's very, very, very difficult, difficult to correct. And then and when then you, when fight, you fight, fight with your husband, your husband or with your, or with your wife, wife in the night, night or, in, or the in the morning, about money, about, money, about, family, about family, about something, about something that, that is not relevant, relevant to the word of the Lord, and one is not ready to surrender. And then you don't and know you the egg in, in the family. I don't care. I don't care. Either it's a wife, wife or it's husband. husband. What I'm husband. saying, the altar, the altar must, be must be strong. Then what happens? There will not be full, I mean, there won't be full obedience to the word of the Lord. Then they will not, the one of them will remember that whatever the one hand is doing, the second hand must not know. Why well, the Bible well, say one plus one is one. Then they will not remember. Ah, uh, 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 that that shall not kill. Uh, I mean, that shall not kill. What they mean by that shall not kill there is that that shall not rebuke. Why the Bible say that you shouldn't forget the landmark whereby two of you are coming from. What joint two of Two of you together, you will not continue to see opposite thing. Every one of them will be quoting Bible, the same Bible, to faith for them, just to have their own way. The altar has been totally destroyed. When the altar is totally destroyed like that, they give chance for devil to come in. You now call upon the name of the Lord in every house. Go and look at any house that a misunderstanding. Between husband and 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 and, and, and husband and wife, there's no biblical uh stronghold in that family. Go and write it down what then. I'm telling you what then. Either the morning devotion have gone, the altar has been destroyed, they are not obeying Bible fully. You get what I'm saying? They are not obeying Bible fully. What, somebody told me, if you want to see anybody that is useless in life, that person does not have God. If you want to see any family that is, that is being destroyed, write it down this morning. The altar has been destroyed. Mm, mm. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Go exactly. and trace it. Tell me any family that is destroyed. Go and look at the life of the wife. Go and look at the life of husband. Something has been strong, something has been wrong in their utter at all. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. 
in any area of the altar is being destroyed. Can you imagine uh, we as a wife of Jesus Christ not listening to the Almighty God, not obeying his, his obedience? Tell me, what is the relationship between us and Jesus Christ today? So immediately after his removed, the family is totally destroyed. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. That by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ, in every house, devil has entered and managed to destroy their altar to the extent that when, whatever one of them is doing, either right, right or wrong, the person will continue to, to quote the Bible. The Almighty God will breathe into those families and rebuild their altar in the name of Jesus Christ. Let's open mm -hmm. our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord. Let's mm -hmm. open our mouth. Let's call upon the name of the Lord for all the families that they are experiencing the mm -hmm. destroying mm -hmm. of the altar mm -hmm. that by the power and the blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Go and look at this. Mm -hmm. tell, tell me if you see mm -hmm. anyone that they have, a, they, they, they have a wrong relationship or mm -hmm. anyone that has mm -hmm. wrong relationship. Come mm -hmm. and tell me about, about their altar. Father, we thank you very much. Lord, thank today you. we have prayed for some families. Oh, and Lord, yes, if Lord. you have told us, that is very correct. That when the <clears throat> devil wants to destroy a home, he destroys the altar. And everywhere there are altar, evil men have altar. And they go there every morning. And they go there every day. Or depending on how they serve their altar. And they can do the altar to be speaking against their victim. Mm. There are priests behind the altar. And that's mm. exactly what happened in the Old Testament. And we're told in scripture that the fire shall not go out of the altar. So it mm. means that as evil people have their altar, we should also have an altar to speak against the evil altar. Okay. My God, and I pray this year, every home, my God, Christian home, there will be altar of prayer. Oh Amen. God, Amen. Jesus, every power from the pits of hell that want to hinder the altar of prayer. In the name of Jesus Christ, I ask that you will set those power, those spirit, those agents, you will set them ablaze in Jesus' name. Amen. So shall be broken in pieces. Out of heaven, the Lord will thunder against them. You will Amen. thunder against them. By Shall the Lord be with the earth, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You will slain those power that will not want us to enjoy our union this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Chapter 12, verse 21a. There shall no evil happen to the just. No evil shall be for all this year. Amen. There shall no evil befall us, nor any plague come to our dwelling. I pray any plague the devil want to send to our children, it will bounce back. Operation Amen. back to send He that digging, they fall into it. Every bit they are digging, and they are planning to dig 
On behalf of the children, they say, oh, we can't get the man. The man is full of fire. Every time prayer, every time church, every time evangelist, every time day. If we get to this one, we will be in trouble. Let's get to those his children. They are not spiritual like their father. Let's get to them. They will not get our children. Oh, Amen. let's get to what the woman. The wife is always nagging. The wife is not spiritual. And then let's get to the wife. If we can get the wife, we can get the man. They will fail woefully in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. They will not get our children. They will not get us. In the name of Jesus, we are Amen. forming a formidable army, impenetrable army. Army, oh God, that will remain very strong and very powerful. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Man is not cooperating. We combine anointing together this morning. And we speak to that woman, you wife. You are not submissive to your husband. By the power of the Holy Ghost, we agree together now. The Lord touch your heart. The Amen. Lord touch Amen. Amen. Heart. Amen. Amen. Touch your heart. The Lord touch your heart. Amen. Amen. In the dream, you will have an encounter in that day. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. In every home, let there be a testimony. Amen. Amen. Of our family this year. The Amen. devil of our family this year. Amen. Amen. The Lord. Lord Amen. As we close this morning, on this platform, we don't be business as usual. We ask, oh God, every servant of you, as we make a decree over a situation, it will be stamped forever. As Amen. we make it over every challenge, it will be stamped forever. Amen. Make a as we speak it, it will come to actualization and manifestation. To remain holy, help us to remain ready. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. As we go for this week, testimony galore. Amen. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Let's share the grace together. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the, the, the love Lord. of God. And the fellowship of Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever, forever, ever, ever. Amen. Amen.